It's been nearly one week since a series of bombs went off in hotels and churches in Sri Lanka during one of the holiest days of the year. Hundreds killed and injured, and tonight these victims were honored in a vigil here in Toronto. On a chilly Friday evening, dozens gather at Nathan Phillips Square to honor the innocent lives abruptly taken in the horrendous attacks throughout Sri Lanka. A somber mood for all, but especially for Torontonians who have lost loved ones back home. This means uh, really uh, very close to my heart because I lost uh, about uh, seven friends at the Shangri-La and the other hotel. How does it feel on this day to remember them? Yes, uh, we are basically um, I'm helpless. We don't know even what to do or what to say to the extended families. Since Sunday's explosions, a cloud of grief hung over Sri Lankans around the world and here at home. Tributes have been pouring in for the victims throughout the week, including today, as the National Council of Canadian Tamils marks the devastation that struck their island nation. This is kind of gives us that sense of fear for our relatives who are still back home and we are not able to, you know, give them a hope of stability again. Um, and it gives us uh, a sense of lostness, like being lost again. The Tamil community is finding a way to be able to cope with the loss and the attack. The vicious attacks come at a time where the South Asian country is recovering from an intense civil war that lasted more than two decades. To cope with Sunday's atrocities, many are turning to faith and religion to guide them through it all. This incident has opened up the wounds again and people are re-traumatized. So again, people are asking the question, so what's going to become of us? Among those in attendance today, dignitaries including MPs, MPPs, city councillors and Mayor John Tory. We're deeply saddened because of the loss of innocent lives and those who were injured, those so many who were injured. We're deeply sad because of the trauma that tragedies like this can cause. And for this community, the hope is that an attack of this magnitude doesn't instill more fear and division, but will unite all against the same hate that caused this tragedy. We are not going to be intimidated by uh, such carnage, such threats. Uh, we believe, as one of our saints said, the blood of martyrs is the seed of faith, and that's what we believe. Our faith is going to be stronger.